if at the time when we launched, if you had a lot of integrations in ConvertKit, Lemon Squeezy, Stripe, Sandal, or any other integrations that we have, if you have a lot, we try to make an API call to those services to get the data that we need. So we get the latest data about the customer's products and so on. Now, this can be a problem if you have a lot going on and you have default timeout set in your serverless functions. So if you're using Next.js, a serverless function does have a time limit. And in order to get around it, what you could do is extend the maximum duration by adding a property just like this. This function can run for a maximum of five seconds, but if it takes more than five seconds, then it is allowed to run for a specific period. That's exactly what we did. We set it to 60. If it's more than 60, that means definitely we're doing something wrong. It doesn't even ever go here, but there were certain cases which we further optimized later, but there were certain times where it did go a bit more than we would like, and the serverless function failed. And we don't ever want that for our users, which is why I would highly recommend to for using APIs with Next.js serverless functions, then set this max duration property. 